Hey, my family, it's your girl Mary. I'm back. Thank you for joining me once again here on the ML Family Channel. For those of you that's new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up by hitting that like button, subscribe so you can become a permanent part of the ML Family, as well as hitting that bell notification so that you can get all my latest updates. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, as well as sharing and check the description where you'll find my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and my Twitter and my Snapchat. So you can come join me over there. This is a stimulus check update for November 1st, 2020. 20. Let's get it. Also, you see that I have attached an article from CNET on this video so that you guys can know what's going on. There hasn't been very much to report, but it says six ways the election on Tuesday could alter the course of a second stimulus check. The result of the November 3rd election could have a profound impact on the COVID-19 relief bill and the stimulus payment expected to come with it. Individuals and families are hoping for economic aid from the federal government will have to wait until after the election on November 3rd. And perhaps until next year, with the White House and Democratic negotiators having walked away from talks on another financial stimulus package. So they've walked away. There is no more negotiations going on. None of that is happening. So... With that being said, Mitch McConnell wants to wait until January 2021 or February. The president wants to do it right after. Nancy Post wants to do it right after. Joe Biden wants to do it right after. They supposedly wanted it now, but all we can do is wait. So, I hate reporting news like that. Because it's irritating to know that we need the help. And we're not getting it. It's not right, it's not fair. We're sitting here suffering and needing it. So, I don't know what to say. That, that That's just depressing to me. But, what can we do? Go and vote. That's what we can do. Vote. Make sure that you know deep down in your heart, before you go and vote, that that's the candidate you want to go vote for. Because the only thing I could say, either way, whoever wins four more years of this crap is too much. And we cannot handle it. And more and more people's going to die. So, go ahead and make your vote. Make your voice heard. I love y'all. God bless you. Stay safe. Wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, sanitize. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up by hitting that like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, as well as dropping a comment. Let me know what you think, as well as sharing and checking the description. And until the next one.